Hey, Excellenters, it is Sunday, and that means it's Aurora's Day. Woo woo! <laughs> So this week we're talking about quirks, and I'm really quirky. I used to be a lot more like high strung and have a lot of weird stuff, so I'll probably talk about that throughout this video. But uh, first, before we get to this, can we just talk about how awesome Sydney is? Like, she has been so fantastic, and I know I haven't gotten a chance to talk to you much, but I absolutely adore you, and you are fantastic. So thank you so much for being a guest on our channel. Alright, so now on to the quirks. I videoed a quick tour of my apartment, so I'll try to incorporate that as we go in and maybe I can include clips. Okay, I'm basically the messiest person ever. Like, I'm super busy, so it's kind of hard for me to keep up on things. So, I don't know. My apartment can be completely trashed, but I know where every single thing is. Like, I can pinpoint things like that. But, the only thing that I can't pinpoint right now is the batteries to my camera. Wait, I cannot find them and it's driving me absolutely crazy because I know, like, you know when you know where everything is and then there's one thing that you can't find. It drives me insane and that means I'm going to have to clean my entire apartment and I, uh, Anyway, blah blah blah. So, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Anyway, Sydney, totally on top of that Sharpie thing. I'm addicted to them also. Um, take a look at my shower curtain. This is my shower <laughs> curtain. Um, I have this need to put my own spin on everything. Like, I plaster my walls with posters. I do, do everything weird. And I have my friends draw on my shower curtain. So this is a bunch of stuff my friends have drawn. Some of it's inappropriate, some of it's not. So enjoy. Um, and then dirty feet. I work at... I'm just... I just wrote down, like, a list of everything. I'm not just being creepy. I swear. Anyway, I work at a shoe store. And, uh... Little kids' feet are the most disgusting things in the whole world. Parents need to learn that socks are a necessity and not just like an option. Oh. Claire, with makeup, I'm the same way. I definitely like buy too much makeup, get too much makeup. And just a couple weeks ago, I went through my whole makeup collection, which was like three overflowing drawers of it. And I was like throwing a bunch of it out that was like old and crusty and didn't even work anymore. And then everything that I <laughs> Everything I felt too bad about throwing out, I just put in a bucket under my cupboard. So I just have a bunch of makeup down there now. Um, Brian, you're talking about shower habits? I'm the same way. I do the same thing. Like, every time I get in, I, like, turn the water on, shave my legs, shave my armpits, and then I wash my, or I shampoo my hair, rinse it, and then wash my body, sh condition my hair, and then rinse everything, and then I wash my face and get out. Like, it's the same routine every single time. Everything's in the same order. Um, you were talking about, like, subconscious nervousness. Same thing goes for me, especially, like, especially before I moved. I was so stressed all the time, and, like, it's starting to happen again, and I'm, like, trying to calm down. But, uh, I do, like, weird stuff with my face. Like, I get, not face tics, but, like, these urges that I can't control. Like, um, when I, I know I'm really stressed when I catch myself, um, putting my lip to my nose, um, like... I know it's like the most unattractive thing I could possibly do, but it's like I get so much tension in my face that I just have to do it. Or um, you were talking about like the lip thing. I have my lip ring right here, and I never used to do this before I had it, but now that I do, um, I uh, like in between these two teeth, I put my lip ring in there, and it, like pushes my gum. I don't know. I just like the way it feels. And I know it's gonna mess up my teeth someday, but I wear my retainers every single night so we shouldn't, right? <laughs> anyway, um, Linda, you were talking about like alphabetizing your CDs and stuff. I used to do that all the time. Like, honestly, uh, I had this case of like 200 CDs or whatever, like one of those binders, and every time I bought a new CD, I would have to rearrange like all 150 of them or whatever. Kirsten? Alright, so this one time I went over to my friend's Max, my friend Max's house, and he was like super hungry. So he got out a piece of bread and he poured A1 sauce on it, folded it, and just ate it. And your condiment sandwich reminded me of that, because I thought that was the weirdest thing ever. But now, I understand. I understand. Um, and, oh, you separate your food, I mix it together. Like, um, like, I'm trying to think. Oh, peas and like baked potatoes, that's like my favorite meal ever. Like, I love peas and baked potatoes and I just put them all together, and it's like the best. They're like, 
yeah, I always like to mix like vegetables and whatever my brain is. I don't know, like if I have broccoli and rice, I'm gonna mix it together. If I have like, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, that's me. And uh, Adam, books on sale, I'm the same exact way. I have so many books that I've never even read or like bought on a whim because they were on sale and then I was like, oh, this is awful. Also, can I just say how totally in love with you I am? Like when you were sitting on the porch at your house, I was like, he needs to come here and we'll sit on my stoop. And, cause that's what we do, we sit on my stoop. I have like these steps in front of my building and we sit on them and we enjoy the night and you should do it too. And this is turning into a really long video. Um, but also your use of the word bum. Um, it, it also means butt here in the US, but it also means like, oh, I'm gonna, if I'm, if I'm gonna bum some bread from you, that means I'm gonna take some bread. Or like, oh, can I bum a cigarette? Can I bum this? Can I, that means that too. So I thought it was really interesting. Anyway, it was great seeing you guys. I hope you like this video, which you probably won't because I'm gesticulating with my left hand. <laughs> uh -oh. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks again, Sydney, for being such a great guest. Like, we seriously, seriously adore you. And we'll be back next week. I mean, we will. <laughs>